This is the anniversary of the disappearance of four students from Forest University College. Channel 13 presents a repeat presentation of Tamara Drake's award-winning report on the shadowy figure known only as the Psychotic Forest Ranger. This report is being shown in its entirety and contains material that may be objectionable to some viewers or unsuitable to younger audience members or viewers with good taste. Viewer discretion is advised. And now, coming to you live, your world, your news, your station. It's Channel 13 News with Anchorman Steve Blickman. But first, in the field, here is Tamara Drake. Try not to freak this up, okay? On my roll, let's go. On five, four, three, two, one. This is Tamara Drake with Channel 8 News. Wait, again. In five, four, three, two. This is Tamara, good morning. This is Tamara Drake with Channel 13 News, with, then it goes on the next one. Okay, start this over. In five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, this is Tamara Drake with Channel 13 Tamara. News. This is Vince Green Bay in the studio. Can you hear me? Can she hear me, people? Get her to hold the microphone up for cover. We'll re-record her in studio. Tamara, we have to ADR you. Damn, should have got Blickman out in the field for this. Reports of missing teen campers have been flooding in our local police stations, as well as our own Channel 13 News desk. Reports of devil worshippers conducting evil rituals in the woods and mountains around the area are spreading like wildfire in the small community. In addition, at least one local policeman is said to have disappeared along with his squad car. Some old-timers are saying that the recent disappearances are the work of the legendary psychotic forest ranger, the subject of scary campfire stories for decades, if not years. But they never found his head. And that's the whole story. What, what was the camera, was the camera even on? I'm not doing this again. For more on this legendary psychotic forest ranger, we now go to interview this reporter conducted with Professor Omar Dintis, an expert in anthropological folklore at Forest University College. Professor Dentis, how do we separate factual stories from myths and legends when dealing with the deaths and disappearances in the isolated areas? All these legends and myths play on our fear of the unknown, but we hope that there is things going bump in the night. Bigfoot, lushness monster, crazy murderer, psychotic forest ranger hiding in the forest. We fear, but we want to believe. We want there to be more things in heaven and earth than is dreamt of in your philosophy, Horatio. Actually, it's Tamara, Professor. Are you planning on exploring the forest to discover the truth of these latest stories of the demented Hey, <laughs> I'm from Africa. We don't go camping in the woods when there's crazy people running around. Don't you listen to the news? Campers are still entering the forest areas despite the latest reports of missing teens. Hot skies and sunny temperatures are making the woods a desirable destination for campers wanting to camp and the fishermen wanting to camp as well. This reporter caught up to some of those campers, some of which whom agreed to be interviewed on camera. Please state your name and tell the viewers why you are still going camping despite the stories of the park rangers with mental problems roaming the woods. Um, I'm Brooke. My friends and I are like totally stoked to the max to go camping. Any sign of that freako ranger dude and Brooke will book. The only guys not hitting the woods this weekend are like mall rats. But come on. Some nut job hacking up campers? Dude, like, as if. I'm so sure, not even. I do not even know what you just said. Anyway, thank you, Brooke. Like, oh my god, am I gonna be on television? Daisy, come here. I am Daisy. I am exchange student from China. I think you are stupid for your stupid, crazy ranger ideas. Maybe just some silly sprawler out stealing from campings and camps. No big deal. Hanging out in the wood is 
as the people say, bon dignity. We got grab from Zach and Bruce. Got motor. Ta ta. Name's Kurt, a senior in leisure management science at Forest University College. Face it, lady, those kids who went missing, they were kids. I'm not in high school. No college dude is going to go running around wigging out because of some crazy campfire tale about a head case park ranger. And those kids that were missing, they ran away from home. Everybody knows that. No psycho killer here. Everybody take a chill pill. Thank you, Kirk. It's Kurt. Kurt. My name is Courtney, and I think all this media hype is ridiculous. Don't you news people feel guilty about increasing the paranoia of your viewers? What about the parents of the missing kids? Conjecture is just speculation, you know. In fact, if there is some kind of psychotic forest ranger out there, and I doubt it, I challenge him to come and get us. See in the woods, you freaking nutjob headcase. Campers continue to flock to the woods as the weather gets better. Brave, stupid, both, neither. What did the authorities think? This reporter interviewed local policewoman, Constable Corporal Mandy Floodwater for an official statement. So this is off the record, right? Yep. Sure. So why has he got a camera on me? Just pay no attention to him. He's just checking stuff in playback. I don't find that to be credible. Oh well. You were wondering about the missing police officer? I didn't know him personally, but I'd say he's presumed alive until proven dead. We have no actual hard evidence that foul play is suspected. Police work is like carving a statue. You separate fact from supposition. What remains is the concrete truth. Carved in stone, if you will. So despite blood, human remains, diabolical rituals, and a missing policeman, we believe things are fine at this point. But don't quote me on that. Quote me on that, you say? Thank you, Constable. In this red-blooded part of the world, citizens are not always willing to wait for authorities to authorize official actions by officials. This reporter met two such vigilant, um, vigilant sawwards who seem prepared for any eventuality. Thanks for having us on, Tammy. Tamara, yes, well, aren't you afraid that there may be some truth to the rumors of something sinister lurking in the forest? Huh, human, animal, vegetable, minstrel, whatever. There's nothing in there that we can't handle. Ain't that right, Zeke? I reckon. She sure is pretty. I could handle me some of that. <laughs> but with all that reported disappearances, some would think unwise or even crazy to go out looking. Excuse me? Crazy? Miss, do we look crazy to you? Believe me. My cousin and I are what you'd call professionals. Hell, we know them woods better than we know our own kin. Don't we, Zeke? That's right, my brother. So you are confident that you can catch whatever, whoever, is responsible for these disappearances? Oh, yeah. You're sure? Without question. Well, good luck. I hope you get whatever it is. I intend to, miss. This is Tamara Drake reporting live for Channel 13 News. And cut. Tell me we don't have to do this again. So, uh, you want to see my truck? Ew! Hey, Pa, I think she likes me. This reporter took the time to place hidden cameras around some trails in the areas popular with the campers. Limited battery life and exposure to the elements may affect what we're able to collect. But I will add any footage to my report once I check back on the cameras in a few days. Two nominations. I give her gold and she gives me wooden nickels and she gets two nominations. <clears throat> 
two implants at the company picnic, and then she gets the big shot. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm Steve Blickman. Are we ready? Just, just roll. <clears throat> I'm Steve Blick. I'm, <clears throat> I'm Steve. <clears throat> All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Steve Blickman. Tonight, we're following up on a Tamara Drake special report on the so-called psychotic forest ranger of local legend. Tamara, I understand you retrieved your hidden camera videos from locations around the forest. What can you tell us about the scenes we're about to see? Well, Steve, it just shows that some of our college students have a lot of free time and nothing better to do. How so, Tamara? Well, Steve, the very same students I interviewed must have noted the locations of the hidden cameras and played a prank on this reporter and indeed all of our viewers. How so again, Tamara? Well, Steve, they acted out grisly death scenes with some hoser playing the role of the forest ranger. Not cool, Steve. Not cool at all. You're absolutely right, Tamara. Ladies and gentlemen, although the following footage is clearly faked, viewers with small children or other sensitive viewers are advised not to view the following scenes from our hidden cameras. Keep in mind that some scenes have been edited to better fit together. Please, do not try this at home. <laughs> Poor thing! I bet your heart's just not in it anymore! <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> Stick around, miss! <laughs> Keep an eye out for danger! <laughs> in the neck <laughs> heads will roll <laughs> oh no I should have never taunted the psychotic forest ranger oh I see someone oh it's a policewoman I just have to call out to her <gasps> hi Courtney thanks for inviting me to your party mind if I take your head for a <laughs> Quick spin! <laughs> Officials still believe the video footage you've just seen to be mere forgeries or bad fakes. However, the four students from Forest University College featured in these videos are still missing. The Legend of the Psychotic Forest Ranger, Truth or Fiction, Man or Myth, Demonic Psycho Serial Killer, or tall tale. Who can say? Thank you for watching, and good night from Channel 13. live for channel 13 news and cut tell me we don't have to do this again so uh you want to see my <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> perfect let's do that one again let's do that one again <laughs>